What's up guys? I'm Taylor and welcome back to Dude Dad and we are T minus nine days until my wife is due to have our baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody needs a battery change. Needless to say, uncomfort levels are at an all time high right now. Understandably so, because my wife basically has a person just camped out in her uterus. She's having trouble sleeping, she's tossing and turning. As a dad, as a husband, I'm thinking, what can I do? I don't have a uterus. How can I help the situation? Introducing dad hack numero uno. That means number one. I'm pretty sure. All right, so basically the issue is when you're pregnant, you have a very tough time getting comfortable on your mattress because uh, A, you can't lay on your back. Hey, Ellie. You can't lay on your back because your legs will fall asleep. Can't lay on your stomach because you've got an enormous baby right there and you will crush your unborn child. Uh, so you can only lay on your side, which is not comfortable for a lot of women. So, introducing the pregnancy mattress hack. First, we just gotta take all the pillows and the cats off the bed. My wife's belly is gonna be, yeah, it's about right there. Now remember the saying, measure twice, cut once. It's for people that don't know how to improvise. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to cut a hole deep enough for my wife's stomach. Uh, she's at eight and a half months right now, so I'm gonna say maybe like at least half halfway through the mattress. <laughs> I wasn't sure if this saw was gonna work, but we'll try. Okay, yeah, no, that's probably not gonna work. So. Always gotta have a backup plan when you're doing a dad hack. And that's why, got the handy little utility knife here. Oh yeah, much better. Just remove part of this spring. After you take the springs out, we're gonna take those pieces of foam that we took out earlier, and we're gonna put them right back into place and push them down, but it's gonna give it a nice indentation for your wife's belly. Putting it all back together now, now, to do that, I'm just going to use some regular duct tape. Now, you can use any duct tape, but I went for the white duct tape because it matches the mattress. you got to be willing to try out your own work. So I'm going to simulate what it will be like for my wife. I'll just give her a go. Endless amounts of sleep. All right, so the pregnancy mattress is finished. All that's left is to have my wife try it out. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm not going to tell her that I did this. We're just going to put the sheet back on, cover it all up, and wait for her to get home and just convince her to get in the bed and see how she likes it. What, what, are, you, what are you doing? Nothing. Just try out the bed. Try out the new bed. <laughs> it's airy. You feel that? Yeah. There's a spot for your stomach. Where? Why is there a spot for my stomach? That's hilarious. Then do you pump it back up when I'm not pregnant anymore? No, it's just it's just like that. What are you doing? I made it for you. I don't... You made the mattress? Yeah. How did you make a mattress? I just cut a hole in it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Oh, what? What? Is this the new mattress? Yeah, this is the new mattress. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. Do it. Do it for the babies. Do it for all the babies. And for yourself to learn about babies.